guys, Jill here, and I got a few things that I wanted to show you, and I also wanted to show you um, my smash book, because I, I did end up binding it, but I told you we were running to Michael's today, and I managed to find just a few things in the dollar section, actually. Most of the dollar section things that people have been talking about are actually gone. There's a lot of empty bins, but I still managed. This, I think, is so cute. Well, my mom collects elephants, so I'm going to do something with him. And there was just one, and I wish there was some more because I would have liked to have made a few for her, but at least I found one, right? And these were on clearance for $1.49. And I wanted to pick up a few of the other ones with the cool shapes, but they didn't have them. And they've actually been gone for a while. And I was going to go to another Michael's. We went over to Ikea, and I got a whole bunch of containers for my big shelf. And I'm going to show that later because I just finished getting my room all the way I wanted again. And... Um, we were going to go to another Michael's, but as many of you know, I live in Orlando area. So everybody in the world is in Orlando. And when we tried to go to some of the Michael's, we, we couldn't even get across the street for like four lights. So we just turned around and came home. Um, but what my Michael's did have, there was a few things. They had these in the dollar section and... I love this butterfly. And then this one's really cool, too, because it's, like, flying away. There was a few others also that were new that were really cool. Then I found the Fleur de Lis. And, again, there was a crown and some swirl ones. And very, very picked over. So, but with my son being a Boy Scout, and I've told you before, he reached Eagle Scout this year, and he actually was asked to be a counselor for one week at Scout Camp, and apparently he did a good job because they hired him for the whole summer. So he's actually a paid Boy Scout leader, which is awesome for him. And so we're, we're still planning his Eagle dinner. So, that was fun. Then they had these, and I know they've been on sale forever, but they had them marked down. They were $3.49, and so I picked up some of these, and you guys have seen them. They're just really pretty. And for the price with the container, you just can't beat it. So because I needed more flowers today, as you can see. So that was everything I got at Michael's. Feels like I spent more. Don't know why. I placed a small order with I Am Roses. Just got a few things. And I've been wanting to try these, this style of roses. And I actually, I think I meant to get some smaller ones. These are kind of big, but they're going to look really good. I'm out of gardenias, the big ones. So these will be nice. I really like them. And it's I should probably change it up a little anyway. <laughs> then I got some of the scrapbooking gardenias. And these are smaller than the regular one. The ones that I am out of. I, I have a few of them, but you know. I also picked up... Sharon had sent me some teeny, teeny, tiny roses. And I picked the next size up because I enjoyed working with those. So this is the next size. And then I also got the ivory semi-open rose buds. And I thought those would be fun to work with. And then Buma always sends a gift. And this is what she sent me. And I actually, this was more the size I was thinking these were. And I know the measurements are on there. And I don't know what I was thinking. But. Either way, they're going to be great. But these are really pretty. A size I don't have, an item I don't have, so that will really come in handy. Okay, so that's all that fun stuff. Let me, I had it all here nicely, see? So I could shove it aside and show you my projects. Okay, so I'm working on some craft fair items, and I'm finishing up my design team project for the butterfly garden 
stuff, and I had scraps left over, and they weren't big scraps, just lots of randomness. So what I did was I got out my Tim Holtz, and I don't know the name of it, I'm trying to think, it's something, Fanciful Flight, I think, and I used all my scraps, and I used some of the packaging for this shape, and this is the ornate die from, again, Tim Holtz. I used the Papillon in the background, which is the butterfly set. And this is a Stampin' Up. It's not a punch. It's a little sizzlet. <clears throat> Sorry. And it punches out a bunch of little butterflies. I think there's like six and one bigger one. So I cut some of those out, used a silver pen, and then I used some of my punches and there's even a little leaf back here with some glitter. Just kind of trying to do some layers. And so these are one of the items I'm going to do in the craft fair. And I made up a bunch of these. I thought I was going to go insane. Don't know what I was thinking with that. But this is the card that I had first made with the scraps from some of my design team stuff. This is a Michael stamp. And then this was the packaging from one of the items from the butterfly garden. This is one of the wooden butterflies. I dyed it with my, my, you know, my distress stain dabbers. And I went with some of the brighter colors to make it just a, a little different. The same stamp set in the background, diamond dust here and that same punch again more whites than this one this one's more cream and my pearls from Michaels and I use my corner chomper it is hold on I have it written down deco on the corner so that is some of the cards that I did and then I haven't been that active because of my stupid hand it's really bugging me okay so I had showed you my smash book that I was working on I decided to bind it and if I need to take something out, I'll just slit and then you can put it back in or I can just add something to it. So here's the inside. The covers are a little bit bigger and there is room if I, I'm going to probably put a pen ribbon right here. But like here's to give you an idea. Here's some of the little folders. Here's one of the pages I used. Again, the Trade Winds stack from DCWV and the home stack and then on the home stacks a lot of the back pages I used different graph stuff and printed it out and that is something that Catherine from Life on the Scrap Beach showed us over on Ustream because she shows how she assembles this whole book and I used my bind it all to, to put this together and she has a link to those and a link to her blog and I'm also going to give you her YouTube name so but you should all know who she is <laughs> so I printed out a whole bunch of different ones like I thought this one was really fun and again some of them I left plain and then like I put some little envelopes in a little coin envelope and I'll like clip that so I can open it this is a card I had bought many years ago when I had one left love this page I threw in a few pieces of craft paper and I had showed you this earlier and then these were from school where we were practicing bookkeeping and they're the exact same size this is a piece of vellum over the keys and again more of that printed stuff more of that here's another piece of vellum a little thicker one this was a great way to go through and find a whole bunch of mishmash of stuff I had and then I had showed you my license plate my temporary license plate for the car my dad gave us and then this is an envelope and I just put a scrap over it and then on the back had a little bit of a hard time with the silver pen but I figure I could either fill that in or do something different back here or it probably won't even matter I'll just collage over it and I did again all of this with my bind it all so this is my homemade smash book and it's big like I said it's nine I think it was 
9 by 12 Does that sound right? Yep. Just a little bit shy of 9 by 12 So um, and I and I didn't do anything special with the covers. I just edged with silver pen and, and attached paper on each side with my glue stick. And then I bound it with my bind it off. So that's what I've been up to. And I'm going to start adding stuff to this. Um, like I said, ticket stubs, pictures, whatever. I'm going to start using this. And I'm, I really love the way it turned out. And it's fun because I can add stuff into it if I want. And Catherine shows that also on her her project and so this is going to be a lot of fun to fill up I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the cover I think maybe after I filled it up I'll do something with the cover so there you have it that is everything I've been working on as well as everything I bought all my orders are in and I'm going to cool it for a while <laughs> with the shopping so thanks for watching and have a great day